Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by RiSite Studios. You can visit us at RiSite.com. That's RiSite.com. R-Y-S-I-G-H-T.com. Now today we are going to learn a little bit about file sizes. Um, we're going to be using Photoshop and we're going to be using a little bit of um, uh, how you say uh, a, a file browser to kind of discuss on exactly difference in file sizes and what a big one is and a high res and a low res and all that kind of stuff and also how you can be able to save a high res into a low res and an example of a low res upped file and how that's a bad idea so let's go right into it so we got three images in front of us this one here I'll shake it this one here is a high res this one here is a medium res, and this one here is a low. Now, there's no set standards of what's what. Um, it's really based on the, it's kind of proportionary based on the actual size of the highest res. So, what's the difference really? Well, let's just zoom in this young lady's face. Now, this is a high res. Look how you, there's still lots of detail on that. Now, let's go ahead and zoom into the low res you can't even see it it's just not there it's too small it's unusable and you actually even if I get even closer these squares are the pixels actually and that's how insanely low res that is I mean I can keep going and going and going and it takes forever to get to a pixel and there's a pixel at that point but again you can see the big difference now a medium and again, that's the low res. The medium, on the other hand, look at it. it it's kind of halfway there. You can still see your face, but it's still pixelated. And we're getting closer. You can still see there's only four eyes, four, four pixels per the eye. So let's pop. Let's pull that up, and you can still see. When you're looking at it in Photoshop, they look the same. Now keep this in mind. Even though Photoshop is showing you the best it can, it is only showing you the screen resolution. That means that it's only displaying 72 dpi to you unless you have a very high res screen. So if your screen's low res, it's going to show low res. Now how will we really want to look at the sizes of these files? Well, this is the way I usually, in Photoshop, kind of look at them. You go to image, image size, very self-explanatory. I'll tell you the details about your image. Um, this is again, this is our, our medium res. And you can see it's 72 dpi. It's 5 inches by 7.5. Now we can even change that to percentages. So lower, it's at 100% obviously. We can make it to 50 and all that. Um, centimeters, millimeters, points, picas. Um, picas are actually pretty close to, to, um, to your... Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, points are very close to pixels. Now we have pixel dimension, um, which is the same, obviously. You can see 540 and 540. Now resolution is basically, it's like the quality of the picture, um, even though it's a size. An 8.5 by 11 like sheet of paper may have really low quality, and it's hard to look at like a, a Xerox copy over Xerox copy, and then like a high res 8.5 by 11 would be uh, lots of detail, but still the same size. That's the best way of looking at it. Now, there's also a way you can make it bigger. Now, you see we can change these numbers. But why would we want to do that? Sometimes you need something a little bigger, but you're not going to actually make it back to the way it was. So I'm going to cancel out of this. We're going to go to here. I'm going to make this. I'm going to go back to image. I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to make it the same size as that. So let's first find out the same size as this high res. 13 by 19 at 240. Okay. And we're going to our low res. And we're going to make it 13 by 19 at 240. Okay. And watch this. That is the same file size and everything except this is what happens when you up it. It actually fakes it, and it pretends to add pixels. They're all there, yes, but they're not, they don't know where to go. They're, they, they, they're guessing, 
and you're not getting a very good image. It's just very, it looks like it's out of focus or something. So, I'm going to go back to history and undo. It's ridiculous how small that really is. I'm going to kick out of it. And that's that. So, let's open up our, um, our file browser. You can see the size of these things. Hi. 3,615 kilobytes. Medium, 66. Low, 19. That's tiny. And that's huge. That's a big file. Now, let's go back into our um, Photoshop here. Now, I want to put this on the web. Okay? Now we're done with our discussion. We think we understand what's what. I want to put this on the internet. I think that's a big file. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to go into a new way of doing this, not just image size. And this is saving for web. Go to File, not Save or Save As, but Save for Web and Devices. See, it's going to give me a little warning here. Yes, I'm still going to do it. Now we're going to discuss how to save this file. And of course, it's got to load it and all that and blah, blah, blah. But there's different features in here. Here's your, your image size. You have different types of file types, different types of file size and size and all that. Um, these are presets. Now they give you one, two, three different types of file options. Now let's discuss these really quickly. We're just going to go into details of them. We're going to talk about what a PNG is, and a JPEG, and a GIF. Now we're going to say for each one so you can kind of see the difference. But a JPEG is usually your best bet. You want to do the JPEG high. And that's the best for photos. A GIF is good for logos. And a PNG is actually good for both. But it's not great for both. It's just good. So we'll say the JPEG's great for, for photos and GIF's great for <laughs> logos. The PNG is also a really good and powerful file. It's great for the web. But for this particular thing, we would definitely pick a JPEG high. So click that. We got some new features, got some quality. I mean, I could go as far as to raise that up if I decided to. Um, and I could even change the size of the picture itself with image size here. You can see in the image size, um, it's back to our original files, the percentages and all that stuff. And, you know, the type of quality, if we were to downsize it, it would change it using one of these. Um, and this is actually for if it's a video or a video, but a um, a gif of a, a, a gif of a um, animation. Um, a couple of little things in here. Um, optimize is really one of the, the whole reason for this. It actually makes it less complicated. It takes away details that you don't need, like uh, some darks in there. It just gets rid of them, you know. And it, but it keeps the quality of our picture still up. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to go, we're going to make it just a regular JPEG high in the preset, and we're going to save it, okay? And let's save it right into our uh, demo folder with the rest of them, and we're going to save this high web. Save. Takes about a second to load in there, and voila. Now let's take a look at it. Look at that. Thousand two hundred and change kilobytes knocked off. That's 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 like a like a meg or two. That's huge. That's a lot. And it's the same. It's the same quality as the the high resolution one. Pretty impressive, right? And you can even tell. I open that one. I'll make this big. And we're gonna go from the high web back to the the regular high. You couldn't tell a difference if you had to. So that's why we like using Safer Web. It really makes the picture um, just the right size. You don't want to make it too big, too small. So that's it for this tutorial. I think you uh, may have learned something if you uh, had some questions about file sizes and all that. Um, and before we go, you know what? Let's do two things. Let's make a JPEG, a GIF, and a... Um, What's it called? A, a PNG. We'll, we'll use the medium size one here because that way we don't have to, it wouldn't be too different. So we're going back to file and save for devices. Not to, I didn't mean to cut out in your early just like that, but uh, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to do a GIF and dithered. 
So there's a PS. Now I'll hit save. Now you can see what the, the, the gift though just makes it to like very, very few colors. You could actually even use less colors. Like watch this. Um, colors, look at this. I can actually make less. Isn't that interesting? It's 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 thinking which colors to keep, which colors not to. It's and uh watch this. I'm gonna hit save and back into the demo three. Oop. Save. And we're gonna try a PNG as well. Oopsie. We wanna do file save it for web. And yes. And make it the PNG uh, 24. It's higher than the PNG 8. And you see this doesn't really give you all those many options. It does make it transparent, which means that if um, if there was this cut out on the sides, it wouldn't actually turn white. It would actually make it uh, turn clear. And you know what? I can even show you that real quickly. Let's just say, um, first of all, you need to make this a, a, a layer in the background. Let's say I just want to cut that out. See, that's transparent back there. And I want to do file, save as. You may or not notice this later on, but you can see it's still transparent. That's with the GIF. The JPEG makes it white. There's no transparent JPEG. But the PNG usually makes it transparent. And it's a very nice transparent uh, file. I'll hit save. And back to demo 3. It's only showing this PNGs, which aren't any in yet. And save. And last but not least, we're just going to take a look at them. And you can see... Let's just open up all of them. This is what the GIF looks like. Zoom in so you can see it better. And you see what I have in the GIF? It does this funny coloring thing. It tries to make the image flat. See those big monster pixels? I think that looks terrible. That's why GIF is not a very good for this. GIF's good for text and flat images. Um, jump to the next one. This is the PNG. Now it's just showing that because that is the background. If the background is a different color, then that would go that color. But you can see that, that it's not very good for the for the um, for a picture file, but it does look nice. And this is the um, this is the JPEG. You can see how much nicer that is. It's just very sharp and beautiful. And I think that's going to be it for today. We've um, we've touched on quite a few things with image sizes and file sizes and how to do the best for your web. Thanks again for watching, uh, and I, uh, I do hope you have a very good day. Thank you.